Welcome back, WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. We are uh, positively into the holiday season. You know, my wife and I have been married 17 and a half years, and I've never had her do a commercial, not for any Ravens trip, nothing like that. But she loved the ice cream so much up to Harka, and we've been eating it so much here. And I got to tell you, right before I came on the air, I pulled out the caramel apple crisp. And if you haven't had this, this is the apple butter ice cream with the oat streusel and a salted caramel swirl. And we're doing this special, and here's the box. I'll hold this up for everybody. You get the box. But Mike Prokop's here from uh, Taharka. This is actually – Mike, you're actually the dude on the other end when people are ordering this and saving $15.70. You're the one making sure that they get this ice cream in Bel Air, in Hereford, uh, you know, out in uh, uh, Ricerstown, down in uh, Pasadena, Glen Burnie. You deliver ice cream everywhere here. It must feel good to deliver this much happiness during the holidays, brother. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's what we do. Um, especially during the holiday season, it gets real festive. I'm walking through yards that are all decorated and, um, everybody's happy to see me. So. Well, this, this is the part good. in the show where usually I do a lot of the talking. People tell you that, that once I start eating the ice cream, you have to talk about it, but here's the deal in opening my freezer to get this out. The reason I was so delayed today is that I had like the Harka pints falling out. And this is what happens when you order eight of them, right? This is the eight pack box. I got it up on the shoulder here. It comes in the little, see, everybody sees the bus behind me too here. Tell everybody about Vinny driving that thing, man. I was over there the other day. He was packing it all up. I still have not had the Jasmine's blues flavor. My wife still hasn't had the chocolate uh, chunk, but you did send this this apple, and by the way, the sweet potato crumble, best thing I've ever had. Yeah, same here. I had a, I had a spiritual awakening uh, eating that sweet potato crumble. It has uh, pralines and pecans in it. Oh, my goodness. Mm. But a sweet potato-based ice cream, it's so very good. So you're talking about like the sweet potato, but I'm eating, I'm eating the apple right now, the caramel? Yeah. Yeah, so caramel apple was our last seasonal flavor. Um, we just came out with the sweet potato crumble, so I definitely recommend uh, all your listeners to – Go ahead and try that. It's it, it's really good. It rivals the honey gram, which is one of my favorite flavors. Well, Steve and I and and Sean, we've argued about this, you know, for months now. That so here's what happened last week at the factory. My, my wife and I went out to get some ice cream. We took Chris Pika uh, some mint flicks and chills because that's his favorite. He and his wife Kate love that. Mm-hmm. And um, so I brought a whole bunch of it home. And my wife comes in and she said, "I got a surprise for you." I said, "What's that?" She said, Steve snuck me two of the sweet potato crumble. And he didn't want you to know because you'd be going on the air yelling about it and it's not ready yet. I'm like, what do you mean it's not ready yet? I'm sitting here eating it. She's like, you're not allowed to talk about it till next week. Well, this is next week. So I went to bed that night and she snuck some of it. And, she, and in the morning I woke up, she's like, I had some of the sweet potato last night. Dude, unbelievable. Best thing I've ever had. And I'm almost like rationing it. I, you know, I'm a little bit through. I'm, next segment I do, uh, and I think I have coffee. Somebody's coming on with me later on. I'm going to do some sweet potato. But I wanted to do this because my mother's Southern, and I talk about making peach ice cream with my Uncle Claude in South Carolina when I was a little boy. But my mom loved apple butter. Like apple butters, like like I have never heard of an apple butter ice cream, and I'm eating it right now. This thing, call caramel apple crisp. Where do you guys come up with this stuff, dude? Um, honestly, it 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 varies. Um, someone might come in one day and uh, come up with a really good idea, but we we do have a committee that is uh, committed to um <clears throat> coming up with all of our really good flavors. So th- those are the ones responsible for that one. They they kind of honestly. Um, I'm impressed by how quickly they kind of just came up with it and and made it, and it turned out really, really good. So I got a big chunk of oat streusel in my mouth right now. And <laughs> I, I'll just say this. I wanted to be on the committee, and here's what. I said to, to, to Steve and to Sean, I said, look, you guys are doing some big things in December, and we're going to sell some ice cream for you guys. If I sell 250 boxes, will you name a flavor? Because, like, I got all, like, jealous. I mean, the black is beautiful. It's unbelievable. And, I mean, that's one of my favorites, by the way, the chocolate stout with the oats. I love chocolate stout. But I said, if we get our own flavor, Baltimore positive flavor, 
you know, I would be in the committee and I'd be fighting with you guys about whether it would be like a peach cake or a blueberry, wild blueberry or a macadamia nut and pineapple. Like I have all these crazy thoughts in my head, but you know what? I, I don't, I've, I've become an expert about some things in life. I'm never going to become an expert ice cream maker. I'm just going to be an expert ice cream eater. You guys haven't made a flavor I don't like. I mean, I don't even like key lime pie and I eat it. I mean, I don't don't eat key lime pie. Uh, I'm not a tart guy. So you're a sweet guy like me. Like, I think the honey graham, unbelievable. I think the pistachio is crazy good. The sweet potato crumble. And I'm really looking forward to the eggnog. But you guys do this better than I. I wouldn't dream up something like this. I'm not smart enough to come up with apple butter and the salt and knowing how the salt and sweet all work together. So I just, if we make a flavor, I'm going to let you guys pick the flavor. Absolutely, yeah. Most, most, of the, most of the guys that are on our uh, flavor committee have have worked in the uh, restaurant and the kitchen before, so they they have pretty good experience on you know flavor profiles and things like that. I work in the kitchen eating it is what I do. <laughs> Tell me about that home delivery works because we have this incredible offer. Um, we don't usually do this. I really, I mean, I'm first off, I'm proud of my association with you guys and that you're local. Um, I know you guys are doing some amazing stuff this month going into 21, but you're making eggnog and you're making peppermint bark and you're making sweet potato crumble. You have these unbelievable seasonal flavors. They're all available, right? I mean, not now, but if you like eggnog, we're making next week, but you can order it now and you literally bring the Taharka truck to people's driveway and literally drop this off. This is my problem right now. I'm 18 minutes into the segment. My ice cream starting to melt. (laughs) So my wife has to meet me at the door and like take it back, you know, to make sure it doesn't melt. Give everybody the lowdown on home delivery because it is so easy to do. We've already had a lot of WNST in Baltimore people do Baltimore positive people do it. You just put Baltimore positive in, you save $15.70. Literally, this is the best deal you guys have ever offered in the history at Taharka, right? A- absolutely, it is. Um, we're doing it, you know, specifically for your audience. Um, also, let me correct you for a second. Go ahead. Um, so the only truck you're gonna get, we we don't want people expecting a big giant pink truck to pull up to the driveways, but the pink truck will be on the box. Now that's the truck you're gonna see, yeah. Um, because I, I have had people be disappointed when I pull up to their house and they don't see a big pink truck. So I just wanted to make you sure. You are the one that know. delivers it. I'm one of the people who deliver it, yes. But you don't deliver it in a pink truck? No, not in a That pink won't truck. stop so me from ordering it. I mean, I, you know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, ho- I hope they'd be. I they'd feel be like singing, dude. Like, the wheels on the bus go right. round and round. <laughs> yeah, just like that, right? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, kids, do kids meet you out on the doorstep, like literally when the ice cream comes? Yes, all the time. All the, I mean, the parents are like fighting their kids back so that they can get the ice cream. So we're all oh. kids at heart, you know? Do the kids love the honey gram as much as I do? Because I'm a big kid. Um, yeah, I, I think the kids love the honey gram. The kids love everything, man. I think as, as, as long as it's cold and it's sweet, um, they love it. I keep uh, trying so to get the did. box on here, man. <laughs> this is our home. It's a city packed with culture, creativity, and endless possibility. Darker Brothers is proud to add to that mix, create opportunities for change, and celebrate Baltimore's unique local flavor for the holidays. We're giving you $15.70 off. I wish I had eight of these here. These are all empty. Uh, my, my salted caramel. My wife always says, why don't you take some ice in with you and then you can put it on ice and it won't melt. And I'm like, I'm not smart enough to do that. So, uh, uh, but tell everybody how easy it is. You just click in your order. I'm going to show everybody on the screen, but putting the Baltimore positive in takes two minutes. And probably part of the fun of this is being able to pick your flavors, right? Like you literally get to stand in the Taharka ice cream factory and literally order your order your flavors, right? Absolutely. I, th- I think that's one of the most attractive parts, especially during the holidays. Is uh, you, you basically you're going shopping, man. It's it's like it's like Christmas every time you go in there. And you, you, there's a drop down menu, and you see all your options. Um, yeah, look at that. Oh, here we go. Pine um, options. So- Let's talk about caramel apple crisp, caramel crunch, chocolate love, coffee Oreo. I've eaten a lot of that. Eggnog. See, eggnog's so special, Mike. I mean, it's only available do you, after do, December. Do you didn't realize that we made sure that we made made sure that people could see that it would be available on twelve nine for you, man. We did that for you. What I didn't want people doing was going on on Black Friday and saying, <laughs> "Where's the eggnog? I'm going to go right. to the convenience store and buy some off-brand eggnog." No, no, right. no, 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 no. Just deliver it after the ninth, and we will. 
make sure you have premium eggnog ice cream with the vanilla custard in there and the nutmeg and all the good stuff. Golden milk is one of my wife's favorites. Uh, it's in our freezer right now. It's a coconut milk based ice cream. Uh, and it's, um, I mean, I love golden milk. I, I love Indian food. So we love the golden milk, honey graham, key lime pie, mochi mochi, mint flicks and chills. That's Chris Pike's favorite, uh, peanut butter cup, which I destroyed here on the set. I actually have one on the set. Pistachio roasted strawberry, sweet potato crumble, vanilla bean and wake and bake. And so I guess the sad news here, Mike, is that sadly some of the, the pumpkin spice lattes unavailable now, right? Uh, yeah, the pumpkin spice latte is no longer available, man. That, that sold out quickly. I got one pint in the freezer. How much you give me for it? What'd you say? <laughs> I got one pint in the freezer. How much you give me for it? <laughs> <laughs> that that was one of my now, favorites. Man. That it's was so, now. so good. I actually gave away one of my pumpkin cheesecakes last week to Chris Pika. So um, I know I can't home delivery that. Tell everybody about home delivery and how it works. Because you go to certain areas on certain days, right? Yeah. So each, each day has a uh, designated area. Um, we do most areas through uh, Columbia, uh, Middle River, out to Hartford County. Uh, White Marsh, Kearney, Perry Hall, um, Ellicott City, all of those places as well as the greater Baltimore area. So that'll go all the way from, you know, Baltimore City to, to Baltimore County. Um, I also wanted to tell people that um, we do have some big delivery windows coming up on uh, the 22nd and 23rd. So right, you can order right up to Christmas Eve um, and we'll have uh, a lot of areas that all of the areas, surrounding areas will be able to order. So um, don't don't hesitate to go ahead and get an order in, um, you know, close to Christmas. We'll be able to, to get your ice cream to you. And you can use that Baltimore positive uh, coupon code uh, right at checkout. So it's really easy to get. It's through. super easy. It's $15.70 yeah. off. It's 56 minus 15.70. It's just over 40 bucks, $40.30 uh, to order this. And I'm asking everybody to do it. I mean, everybody in my world, uh, because I love the ice cream. And there's something really cool about like December 22nd, 23rd, my wife's going to be up in New Hampshire. I'm staying here on the homestead with, with the cat and keeping the, the home fires burning. But I'm seeing like deliveries coming to people's houses. And I've told everybody, my son bought me corporate out of town, very high quality ice cream last year at a much, much higher uh, cost to him to deliver to, to, to me on Christmas night, eggnog ice cream. And I said, this year, uh-uh. We're going local this year with the Harka Brothers. Uh, you can order it off the website. We're going to be hounding everybody. My wife's going to be talking to you about it. And there's nothing I can think of that would make me happier than to see pictures of my, my friends, my family, our listeners, our partners on December 22nd, like opening up some eggnog ice cream that they just got delivered on a beautiful Christmas Eve sort of vibe for the week. Right. So uh, I want everybody enjoying the ice cream. Brother, I appreciate all you guys do for us at uh, Taharka Brothers. We're proud of uh, uh, what you're growing and becoming and uh, delivering. So I, I am a little disappointed that the pink truck's not pulling up with the ice cream. I'm yeah, you're, you're, not, you're not the only one, man. We're, we're working on getting maybe another truck or getting uh, one of our delivery, delivery vehicles wrapped so that we can get that vibe. I was going to come out in my purple Santa hat and, like, take a selfie with the box <laughs> and do all that. That's it's cool, man. It's a good photo opportunity, man. We, we could get that truck out more often. All right. <laughs> so, look, man, this is, this is serious. Now, like, let's pretend we're not on the air and it's just you and me. All right? Pretend we're having a backdoor meeting here. It says the eggnog's available December 9. Mm. When's it available for me? I'm just asking. I'm, I'm only asking. I mean, I, I don't know that I can wait till December 9. You know, Look, I still have like half a pint from last year. It's getting a little crusty. You know what I mean? It's a year old. So oh, yeah, I'm, no, you got to get, get some fresh eggnog. I said I'll, to my I'll, wife, I'll, I'm just going to wait. You, I'll give you a call personally when, as soon as they're making it, you can come get it right out of the machine if you want. Uh, friends, we're connected here. All right, all right. Yeah. I can get it right out of the machine. <laughs> Uh, you, know, out of the machine, man. you know about me. Hey, man, I had a problem with eggnog. I got to tell you about this. I got to complain about a local brand. I'm not going to mention the brand. But we have purchased eggnog from a farmer's market in the area here for years. And it's really, really delicious. It's really creamy, like frothy. It leaves that like sort of thing in your mouth that you want when you have an eggnog, you know. And this year, my wife went and bought it, like Thanksgiving week, before week before Thanksgiving, we bought it. And they changed the recipe. Like, I tasted it, and I'm like, 
And that's not, come on, that's not the same stuff, you know. <laughs> Eggnog is delicate, you know. I'm just saying, you know, I know you guys are going to do it right. But, like, I am very, very – my palate's weird like that. Like, I taste different stuff. And, and I got to go soon because my, my ice cream's melting here. My wife's going to get mad at me if, if I melt this because you're not going to give me any more ca- caramel apple crisp. But, but eggnog, man, it's special and it's awesome and it only happens this time of year. And I know you guys are doing it right out there. So I'm really looking forward to getting your eggnog because I didn't get it fresh last year. So I, I loved it when I got it, like in April. He couldn't even sell it. He gave it to me. I'm an eggnog connoisseur. So I'm really looking forward to this. So the, the fact that I can come and like put my head under the spigot when it comes out of the machine, I want to do that, all right? Okay. I got to get this in the freezer. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good I broke up on, from Taharka Brothers on $15.70. You save it. You get the box. You see me eat it. You hear me talk about it. You probably saw me having a sweet potato crumble out on the interweb the other night. Order it. It's one click away. You'll be very, very happy when this shows up on your doorstep on December 22nd and 23rd. I am Nestor on behalf of our Tarka family. Big appreciation. We're going to have some news from them later on in the month as well. You'll find that out at Baltimore Positive. You'll find everything Ravens related, COVID related, education related. We're talking to a bunch of folks about, uh, about shopping this month and shopping local and shopping small business. It's so, so important. This is how you know Tarka is local because it says so right on the label. It says right there, made in Baltimore. Can't have the pumpkin spice latte unless you know me. You're coming over for the holidays. We are WNST.net, AM 1570, Taos in Baltimore, delivering delicious Taharka Brothers ice cream to you. We never stop talking. Baltimore sports and Baltimore positive.